everyone welcome back to code campus today we are tackling task 4 from level 2 of our python development internship at cognify technologies we will be diving into a python program that generates a fibonacci sequence based on the user input let's explore how the sequence is constructed and how our program handles user interaction at first i am making a python file i am giving it the name fibonacci sequence you can give it any name to start off, we print a title and a decorative line to give our Fibonacci sequence generator a neat interface. The use of the tab characters help to center the text and enhance the visual appeal. Next, we are defining the function Fibonacci underscore SQ. Here, this line defines a function which takes one parameter terms. This parameter specifies the number of terms in the Fibonacci sequence that we want to generate. Here we initialize a list called Fibonacci sequence with the two terms of the Fibonacci sequence which are 0 and 1. Now we start a for loop that iterates from 2 to terms minus 1. The loop counter i represents the current position in the Fibonacci sequence that we are calculating. We start from 2 because the first two terms are already defined. Inside the loop, we calculate the next term in the sequence by adding the last two terms in the Fibonacci sequence list. Fibonacci sequence within bracket minus 1 gives us the last term and Fibonacci sequence within bracket minus 2 gives us the second to last term. Next, this line appends the newly calculated term, next underscore term to the Fibonacci sequence list. After the loop completes, the function returns the complete Fibonacci sequence list, which now contains the specified number of terms. Next, we use a while true loop to repeatedly prompt the user to enter the number of terms they want in the Fibonacci sequence. Inside the loop, We first check if terms is less than or equal to 0. If so, we prompt user to enter a positive number and continue the loop to ask again. If terms is positive, then we call the Fibonacci underscore ACQ function to generate the Fibonacci sequence up to terms. We then print the generated sequence using star fib sequence to unpack the list elements for better readability. After that, after displaying the sequence, we ask the user if they want to calculate again and the, and the lower function converts the input into lower case. If the answer is Y, means yes, we continue the loop. If not, then we print a farewell message. Then we print, thank you for using our Fibonacci generator and break out of the loop to end the program. Now let's just run the code. So I'm giving number five. So here the first five terms of the Fibonacci sequence is printed. Now again, I'm giving a larger number 12. So now you can see that the 12 terms of the Fibonacci sequence is printed. Now I don't want to continue again. I'm writing N. It is showing thank you for using our Fibonacci generator. And there you have it. You've just explored a Python program that generates the Fibonacci sequence based on user input. This week, I will be covering all the five tasks of level two. And next week, I'll be moving to level 3. Stay tuned for more Python projects from our internship series. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Code Campus for more programming tutorials and internship task guides. Drop any questions or suggestions in the comment below. Thanks for watching and happy coding. <laughs>